Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. I just unpacked a shipment of rodents, my first shipment for 2023, and I just can't believe how small these puppies are. There's some significant shrinkage going on among the rodents. So this is the latest example of a phenomenon that's been going on for quite a while known as shrinkflation. Today I'm going to discuss shrinkflation as it applies to reptiles and I'm even going to get up my trusty scale and weigh these puppies so we can see just how much they've shrank. So to begin with this is a little bit of a rant video and I just want to make clear that this isn't a attack against the particular rodent seller. In fact I'm not even going to mention where I got these rodents. The truth is stuff is just getting more and more expensive due to inflation and I understand that prices have to go up. That's really not my beef with the shrinkflation phenomenon. What I'm really kind of uh, teed off about is the fact that they're calling the same size of a item by the same name, even though you're getting less. So, you know, we all are aware of all the inflation that's happened in, you know, in the last few years, even though the government official figure is something like 8%, we all know that's total BS. I mean, every time you go to the grocery store, stuff is just more and more expensive, 20, 30, 40% higher. But then to top it off, not only are you paying more money, but you're getting less product. And this has actually been going on for a long time. I first noticed this with ice cream being a lover of ice cream. I remember not so long ago, you'd buy a container of ice cream. It would be half a gallon, you know, two quarts of ice cream you'd get. That was the standard size was half a gallon. And then they started to shrink it. It went down to 1.75 quarts. Today, when you go, you get up one and a half quarts and that's the standard size. So it shrank by 25% versus the uh, half gallon size. But of course, you're paying the same price. In fact, you're paying a lot more because the prices just keep going up. You know, and I know the ice cream manufacturers have to pay more. I understand that. That's fine. But just charge me more for the same amount. You know, when I want a container of ice cream, I want to get the full half gallon. I don't want to get 1.5 quarts. I will gladly pay more money. In fact, this has been going on for all kinds of things. You know, yogurt containers, one standard size single serving yogurt used to be eight ounces. Then they cut it down to six ounces. A lot of yogurts today are 5.3 ounces. It's kind of crazy. And what really gets me about this, not only are you getting less product, but it's also uh, much less efficient because of the packaging. You have to use a lot more packaging per ounce of yogurt or you know fluid ounce of ice cream or whatever so environmentally it's also worse so i just this whole shrinkflation phenomenon i think they think people are dumb and we're not going to notice we're getting less product anyway getting back to the rodents rodent sizes have been shrinking in the same way for quite some time but i noticed recently that they've gotten a lot smaller and in fact, drastically smaller. Just in the last few months, they've dropped at least a size. You know, so what they're selling as a large rat is what they used to call a medium. These mediums are the same size as what was being sold as a small. And if you go way back, like a few decades, they didn't even have all these sizes. It was just like small, medium, large. Now they've got large, extra large, double extra large, triple extra large. It's, it's just kind of crazy. They just keep making more sizes. Um, and again, I, I understand they have to charge more. Everything is much more expensive. You know, producing rodents is a lot more expensive, but just charge more and call it the same thing. And another reason this kind of gets me is because when I'm looking back at my snakes feeding records, I call them medium rat, large rat. I don't put the weights of the rats, you know, so looking back a few years, if it says large, that's really like an extra large in today's terms or even a double extra large. And it's harder to keep records consistent when they, the sizes keep getting smaller and smaller. Um, so again, this isn't an attack on the specific reptile rodent supplier. I mean, all the rodent suppliers are doing this, they have to, you know, and if one guy does it, unfortunately, all the other people have to do it too because they'll lose business if people think they're getting a large rat, you know, from somebody for less money when really it's a medium rat and the other guy's giving you the real large rat just for a little bit more money. Just what the hell has happened lately? I remember not so long ago, people took pride in the size of their rodents. You could get an honest rodent for an honest dollar. And it seems like those days are long gone. Okay, I know this is on a little bit cheesy, like some kind of cheesy political ad, so I'll just stop. 
with the BS. I think now I'm just gonna weigh these rodents just to see if they're at least in the size range that is up on the website of the rodent supplier. And I know that they probably just downsize the size range. You know, the size range now says that a medium rat is 85 to 174.99 grams. Large rat is 175 to 274.99 grams. Um, I have a pretty good idea that probably just a couple years ago, a large rat was more like, you know, three or 400 grams. Um, but I just want to just make sure that it's at least in that size range that they're telling me or else I'm really getting ripped off. Uh, in this case, you're not exactly getting ripped off because it's not dishonest that they're telling you the size is, uh, is accurate. Um, but they're, it's kind of sneaky because if they're constantly downgrading the size range, people aren't checking that. And they're ordering a large rat thinking that they're going to get a 2017 large rat. Really, a 2023 large rat is more like a medium or even a little bit smaller than that. So I'm going to get my scale out now. So I got my trusty kitchen scale and my uh, weigh boat here. I'm just going to tear this out on the scale. And first of all, I haven't pre-weighed these rats. I think there's a pretty good chance they're going to be in that weight range. But then we get back to the whole idea that they most likely just downgraded the weight range over time. Um, so just grabbed a couple largest. They're supposed to be 175 to 275. And it is... 183 grams 183 so just barely in the size range maybe before the rats were just at the higher end of the size range here's another large and this guy is 176 grams so it's literally one or two grams into that size range so just barely this qualifies as their definition of a large rat you know, this is no large rat. I've seen large rats. I know what a sexually mature rat looks like. This rat is barely sexually mature. Now we got the mediums, you know, which are even tinier and they're supposed to be at least 85 grams. This one is 93 grams. And this one is 85 grams on the nose. So this little puppy was barely in there medium size range of 85 grams you know couldn't have even lost one gram luckily it didn't poop out more otherwise it wouldn't even qualify so again they're still they're in the size range as they describe but it's a little sneaky because i'm fairly confident that they just did downgrade that size range over time and the reason i know they're getting smaller is the one thing that hasn't shrank in are the bags they've stayed the same you can see the bags have a huge amount of empty space you know, just a few years ago, there was no empty space in these bags. They were full. Okay, you can see all the empty space. You could probably, there's 10 rat mediums in there. You could probably fit double that amount in there. As far as the larges, I used to get the larges. They would have like four of them stacked up like this that got up to about there. And then one big guy on this side and his body would extend to, you know, an inch or two below the seal of the bag. You can see these animals are nowhere near as big. So... You know, again, I unfortunately I don't have pictures of the bags how they used to be, but just take my word for it, the rodents are getting smaller. So again, this is a rant, and you know, this is really a first world problem. You know, I can afford to buy larger rats. You know, but what kind of gets me though is that why don't they just call them the same size and just add more money? I'd much rather pay the extra money and get the rat that's the same size as it's always been. You know, as it is now, you know, to get large rats, I got to buy extra large rats. To get a medium rat, I got to buy a large rat. And it just really gets confusing. Um, I don't think that there's any end to this. There'll probably be even more gradations of rat size as time goes on. Um, and I could just breed my own, but, you know, I'm just way too busy to do that. Don't have the space. Um, so, again, so something to watch out for. Uh, you know, I'd love to hear if you guys have experienced this or I'm just, you know, crazy. Um, as far as rats, anything reptile related, anything consumer related, whatever you want to, you know, gripe about, about, you know, our current economic situation, feel free to write it in the comments. It might be cathartic for you to get it off your head. And maybe some of the other viewers can co-sympathize with you. So again, not the biggest problem in the world, but just something that kind of ticks me off. And so that's the end of the rant for today. I thought I'd just grab one snake real quick because this is a boa related channel, not a rodent related channel.
To end this video on a positive note, here is a beautiful cocker key boa. This is a female born in 2016. She had her first litter in 2022. Some really beautiful animals. And just really love these guys. Um, they've really grown on me as time has gone on. Originally, I just had the call key and wasn't even planning on getting the cocker key, but a buddy had a pair that needed a new home. And I'm really glad that I got them. Uh, they're a great dwarf boa, females full size. Uh, and really enjoyable to handle, not too active, you know, but nice and muscular and it really gives you the full boa constrictor experience in a more manageable bite size package. So this female is just ending the winter cooling. I actually have started to turn the thermostat up on my heat mats and probably I'm going to feed her in another week or two. So she's not going to be breeding this year, but uh, in 2024 to 2020. 2023 to 2024 should be breeding. So hopefully another litter of these beauties in the summer of 2024. Apologies for the dogs. Uh, I'm not going to retape this because I don't want to keep her out for too long. But uh, anyway, thanks for listening to the rant. Would love to hear what you have to say. Shoot me any questions or comments you might have. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.